Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn useful resolve tips and tricks in about five minutes. In this episode, we're going to explore the match move effect in Resolve 14 and how to give it some finesse. To illustrate this, I'll replace the picture hanging behind our talent. The first step is to locate our replacement media in the edit page or the media pool. Then right click on it and choose Add as Matte for Color Page Clip. Then jump over to the color page and open the Open Effects library. Search for the Match Move effect, then drag it onto the connection between Node 1 and the output. Release the mouse when you see a plus icon. A new effect node is created. Effect nodes are a bit different in that they only allow you to work with the effect. All other corrections are disabled for this node. Now right click on the first node and choose Add Mat. Then select your replacement image. Now disconnect the mat from node 1 and connect its RGB output to the second input of the effect node. Now the fun begins. Select the Match Move node and go to the Settings tab of the Effects panel. In the Show Controls 4 menu, make sure Tracking is selected. These options are laid out sequentially and give you a template for how to implement this effect. Now go to the viewer and make sure Open Effects Overlays are turned on. Now click in the viewer to add tracking points. Now a couple of notes on these tracking points. These are patch trackers. So Resolve is going to try and match this arrangement of pixels inside the inner box during tracking. Unique and high contrast areas will track best. This outer box is the search area. So if the track pattern moves outside the inner box, Resolve will search the outer box for the correct pattern. Enlarging the search area can be helpful with faster moving footage, but it may slow down the tracker's performance. Finally, you may notice that the preview window changes colors when you select a tracking point. This shows you which color channel Resolve is going to use for tracking that point, whether it's red, green, blue, or Luma. On this clip, I find the Luma channel to be most effective. Once all your points are chosen, click the Track button in the inspector. If you don't like the tracking results, you can delete the tracking points and track data and try again using a different color channel. Make sure when using tracking points, that all the points are in roughly the same motion plane. In other words, don't try to track a background object using points on a moving actor. When Resolve finishes tracking, change the controls to positioning. Then drag the corners of the positioning canvas over the object you want to cover up. With the corners positioned, change the controls to compositing, then open the plate cropping controls to adjust your image. Now you've successfully plastered an ugly and out of place image onto your frame, and you've exhausted the match move effect. To fix this, we'll need to make some additional corrections. First, we'll soften the edges of the image. Right click anywhere in the node editor and add a new corrector node, then connect it after the match move effect. In the window palette, add a rectangular window around the composited image. I like to place the inner border of the soft edge on the edge of the comped image. Then track the window. I find that point tracking mode gives me better results in this situation. If you need to make any adjustments to the track, switch the tracker to frame mode and correct the track. When you're finished, copy the track data. Then go back to the window palette and add a second window inside the first, allowing the soft edge borders to overlap a bit. When you're finished, click this button to combine the masks. In the tracker palette, paste the track data to this new window. Then go back to the library tab of the effects inspector and add a blur effect to the node. If the overlays are blocking your view, pressing the shift and tilde key will toggle the viewer overlays so you can see your work. With the edges blurred, add a serial node after the mat by using Alt-S or Option-S. Then correct the image to better match the scene. The final step is to rotoscope the talent and put them in the foreground once again. I won't force you to watch me do the rotoscoping, but the major points are to use a duplicate of the original clip on top of our Match Move composite, like you can see here in the Edit page. Then back in the Color page, use Windows to mask off and track the actor. Finally, add an alpha output and connect the node's alpha channel to the alpha output. And voila, now we have our final product. 
For more great DaVinci Resolve tutorials, check out RippleTraining.com, the number one resource for DaVinci Resolve certification training. Thanks for watching.